Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. Okay, fifth grade, here's your problem this week. So go ahead, pause the video, try to solve this one on your own, and when you are ready to check your work, press play. Welcome back, fifth grade. So this one says, what is the difference of one third from four, from three fourths? Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading today, from three fourths. Be careful with this one because we have that word from, when we're taking something from it. We are taking one third from three fourths. That would mean that we are, if this is three fourths, we are taking one third from that. That's how it should look, okay? I know that when we add or subtract, our denoms must match, and I don't see matching denominators here. So what I'm gonna do is find the least common denominator of four, and three, my two denominators that I have. How do I do that? Well, I put the multiples of each one of those there. So if I count by fours, that would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Let me stop there and see if I get a match. Moving on to the threes would be three, six, nine, 12. I've got a match. The least common denominator, the lowest common denominator that they have in common, the denominator they have in common would be 12. So my next step would be to rewrite these equivalent fractions. So yes, we're changing 3 fourths into a fraction with a denominator of 12, but it's an equivalent fraction. So let's see how we got there. If we multiply 4 times 3, that gives us 12. Same on the bottom, same on the top. 3 times 3 equals what? 9. So that would be 9 twelfths. Then we're going from the denominator of 3 to the denominator of 12. So 3 times 4 equals 12. Same on the bottom, same on the top. 1 times 4 is 4. That was a long journey, but now we're here. We have matching denominators. All is good. 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths would be 5 twelfths. Do we have that as an answer choice? We do. We have D. Boom, just like that. Okay, let me leave that right there for you. Pause the video to jot down your notes. And when you're Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the principle and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math Freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.